Good morning, guys. Welcome to day four of our 21 day yoga challenge. Uh, Sunday morning for those of us that are here live. So we've got a nice um, shoulder opening little yoga flow for us this morning. It's still a nice whole body stretch, you know, we're not sort of like um, absolutely blitzing the shoulders, but we're feeling a nice openness into the upper body this morning. So we'll start towards the back of our mats. Penny's going to do a quick down dog for you all. We're going to come into child pose knees and an up dog. Knees to go nice and wide, toes to come together and then walk your hands away. Let your forehead come to rest to the floor and then just give yourself a moment to settle here. Let yourself find stillness and just start to listen to the movement of your breath. Allow the breath to move a little deeper so that you're fully expanding into the lungs on the way in. And slowly emptying, feeling the softness in the body as you breathe out. As you allow the body to feel nice and heavy here, perhaps those fingertips can start to crawl a little further forwards. Maybe the arms can move a little closer towards the ears. And then take another deep breath in, keep those arms reaching. And then let the palms face one another. And as you bend the elbows, let the thumbs come towards the back of the head, perhaps the shoulder blades, a little shark fin behind your back. Give the back of the elbows a gentle press down against the floor. Feeling the difference that creates in your shoulders, your upper body. And then continue with that breath. A strong breath in. And a slow breath out. We'll take one more. Give those elbows a nice firm press down. And then as you exhale, take that shark fin away. Send your gaze towards the top of the mat. I want you to come all the way up and over to come down onto your belly and chest. Allow yourself to then draw your elbows out from underneath. So the elbows have come underneath the shoulders so that your chest is facing forwards and into sphinx. Give a little push down through your hips, starting to switch on the lower body. And then just let your chin pull heavily down towards your chest. Feel the length in the back of the neck. Let the right ear roll towards the right shoulder. Feel the length in the left side. And then sweeping all the way down and over to the other side and feeling the length in the right. Again, as you sweep down, just finding those movements. And then perhaps you might feel comfortable to go all the way up and over and find a nice big circle of the neck, slow and steady. And then find one or two circles in the other direction. Maybe if you want to stretch your jaw on a nice big wide open jaw. A few creaks and cracks as these small little joints wake up. As you draw yourself back towards center, I want you to bend your left knee, send the left toes to the sky. We're going to see if the left hand can catch that foot. I realize that's a big movement for so early on. But you can catch that foot. Now give it a kick behind you. I want you to focus on that stretch into the front of the left chest. It's quite a strong, quite an energetic movement, but give it a strong kick away. Chest is up, pelvis presses down. One more breath in. And as you exhale, let the foot go, but leave the toes in the sky. Your right arm is then gonna reach out alongside you, palm faces the floor, and let yourself roll onto your right hand side so those toes then place onto the floor behind you. Give the shoulder a gentle press down against the floor. And think of focusing the breath into the top right corner of the lungs. Make sure that back foot is able to rest down. You can always take it a little lower if it's floating. And then roll yourself back onto your belly. Prop yourself back up onto those elbows and then bend the right knee. Right toes to the sky, right hand goes to catch that foot. Give it a kick backwards. Feel that openness in the front of the right chest. 
strength into the lower back body and into that right leg. One more big breath in. As you exhale, release the foot, but leave it into the sky. Left arm reaches out alongside you, hand in line with shoulder, and then rolling yourself onto that left side. Let your head rest down somewhere comfortable, and that foot to rest onto the floor behind you, feeling that openness into the hip as well. A deep breath, fill that left side, giving it a press down. And then one more, breathing in. As you breathe out, roll yourself back onto your belly. Hands to come underneath your chest so that you can push your way up towards tabletop. Maybe just bring those knees a little closer in so you've got that nice square shape. Moving through cat and cow, breathing in, press down through the ribs, lift through the chest, gazing forwards, maybe upwards. Breathing out to round the spine, tucking the tailbone and hollowing out the belly. Again, breathing in, squeeze through the shoulder blades, broaden through your chest. And exhale as you puff the shoulder blades apart, really push the spine out between them. And then last one, breathing in. And breathing all the way out. Good, all the way back to neutral. Right hand comes a little bit more central underneath the nose. With a deep breath in, left arm reaches to the sky, twisting gaze follows. As you exhale, reach underneath the right armpit, but don't touch the mat, just reach as far as you can as you sink down. Use the inhale, send the arm all the way back to the sky, twisting and opening. As you exhale, once again, thread, don't touch the mat, but reach as far as you can. And then last time, inhale to the sky, and as you exhale, threading underneath, this time allow the side of the shoulder and the side of the head to come down onto the mat into your threaded needle. Let yourself find that comfortable position first and then maybe your right hand can walk its way out to the top of the mat, extending that whole right side body. Take a nice deep breath in. And slowly breathing out. One more, breathing in and breathing out. Now a little bit of a balance challenge. I want you to see if you can extend your right leg up and away from the mat. Take your time, move slowly. Keep the hips facing the floor to maintain your balance. See if you can then sweep that leg to the right hand side as if it's coming to aim towards your hand. Placing it down onto the floor and then use that right hand, unthread. Draw yourself back towards that tabletop position and then left sit bone to sit towards left heel. Right toes turn up to the sky as you fold forwards. It might look a little different for everyone. Maybe you're more upright here. Maybe you've gone a little further forwards, a little bit like child's pose, but that right leg is extended, making it feel quite different. Press down through the back of that right heel. Think of lengthening through the lower belly, the lower back. One more, breathe in. And then breathe out, push your way back towards tabletop. Draw that leg in as we come to the second side. Left hand underneath the nose. Breathing in, right arm rises. Breathing out to thread underneath. Don't touch the mat, reach as far as you can. Inhale, all the way back to the sky. Exhale to thread under, hovering. And then last one. Inhale, reaching it tall, hold the belly firm. And as you exhale, reach it underneath, side of the shoulder, side of the head rest down. Once you've found that point of comfort, that left arm can walk its way out to the top of the mat. Think of keeping a little press down through the side of this right shoulder and lifting that left armpit up and away from the mat, maybe even bringing your left hand onto fingertips. Feel that length in the left side body. Take one more breath in. And then we're going to see if we can float that left leg towards the sky behind us. Keep the pelvis facing down. The leg is then gonna sweep out towards the left hand side, aiming towards that hand. See if you can place the foot down, maintaining your balance, and then unthread. Push your way round towards that tabletop position. Right sit bone towards right heel, as if this right side is doing child's pose. Left toes to the sky, and then folding forwards to whatever degree 
that left hamstring, that left inner thigh is willing to allow you to fold. Good, breathing in, chest is forwards. Breathing out, folding over this leg. Last one, breathing in. And then breathing out, pushing your way back towards that tabletop position. This time, toes tuck under behind you, hips lift into the sky as you come into down dog. Maybe taking that pedal of the legs, but focusing on that nice openness into the shoulders. The best shoulder opener we've got. Shoulder blades are nice and broad across our back. Sit bones to the sky and the heels are nice and heavy. Pausing as we breathe here. Each inhale thinks of the sit bones lifting that little bit taller. Each exhale we push into the hands, sending the chest back towards the thighs. One more, breathing in. And breathing out. Now the right hand here is going to reach towards the left thigh or uh, calf, excuse me, or ankle for a twisted dog. If you can't quite reach your left leg, you can shorten your stance and just step your feet a little closer. Pull against that ankle as you look under the left armpit, thinking of dropping the right shoulder towards the mat. Take one more deep breath in. Now as you exhale, release the ankle. See if you can step the right foot to the top of the mat as that right arm then reaches to the sky into a twisted lunge, sending the gaze to the top fingertips. Maybe you've got a little bit more space to work with. You can let that arm fall behind you, really opening the front of this right chest. Holding here, breathe in, push away through that back heel. And then as you breathe out, let the hand come to the mat. The back foot is going to step in to come to meet the front foot or the feet can stay hip distance apart. Ragdoll fold, so the knees are softly bent, the torso and the thighs close together. And then interlacing your hands behind your back, palm faces palm. As you inhale, think of the chest slightly forwards as you squeeze shoulder blades together to lift the fist away from your body. And then as you exhale, let your head dangle back down towards the legs. Lift that fist up and away, feeling that broadness across the front of the chest, the front of the shoulders, letting the head hang loose. Try to maintain that closeness of torso and thigh, still ragdoll style. Take your last one deep breath in, it's a big old shoulder stretch. Exhale, hands come back to the floor, feet step back into down dog, hips go high to the sky and let that head hang nice and loose. This time the left hand reaches towards the right ankle, calf, whatever is in reach. Gaze goes under the armpit, finding that twist, feeling that stretch along the back of the left sort of chest area. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, release the foot, guide the left foot to the top of the mat as the left arm then reaches to the sky into your twisted lunge. Option to leave it straight up or maybe let it fall that little bit further as you find a really big opening into the chest, into the upper body. Good, last one, inhale. Exhale, hands back to the mat, back foot steps in, coming back into that ragdoll fold, interlace those hands behind you, squeeze the shoulder blades together to let the fist rise. This time, just taking a little bit of a twist, so I want you to bend your right knee, think of your right shoulder coming towards it, maybe it taps, it doesn't have to, you're looking towards your left. And then all the way up and over, left shoulder comes towards left knee, you're looking towards your right. Just a little bit of a lean of that fist from one side to the other. Draw yourself back to centre, release those hands, and then stepping your way down onto your knees towards tabletop. From your tabletop, keeping your hips right on top of your knees, walk your hands away and into puppy pose. Forehead comes to the mat. The palms can stay as they are, or perhaps you want to stack them up onto fingertips. But because we're opening into the shoulders, the armpit area, we want to try and keep all of the arm lifted. Keeping the forearms and the elbows up if they can. You can obviously rest them down if that's too much. 
the more narrow that your arms are towards your head, the more challenging the range of motion here. Take a deep breath in to broaden through the side body. And then as you exhale, walk those hands all the way back in. Draw yourself towards your tabletop. Left knee is going to stay into the center of the mat. Right knee is going to cross behind it. Squeeze the thighs together as you open your feet to be about as wide as your mat. And then walk yourself back to sit between your heels. Now, if that's not possible for your hips, stick a cushion or a block or a blanket underneath your bum. So you've got somewhere to sit. Right arm, reach it up. Send it down between the shoulder blades. Left hand, sees if it can come to find the bind. Otherwise, you could hold a little bit of t-shirt or you could just hold that top right elbow close in towards the head. Lift the chin away from your chest to look forwards. Ground down through both of the sit bones. Good, breathing in. And then breathing out, release the arms. You're going to go over your right shoulder, so you're going to twist, leave your feet where they are, let them pivot onto the spot as you twist all the way round and come to find that same shape on the other side. So your right leg should now be the one that's on top. Left arm, breathe in, reach it up, send it down between the shoulder blades, see if that right hand can wiggle its way round to find a bind, to find something to hold on to, or just hold that left elbow into the sky. Chest rise, uh, chin away from the chest, lift the gaze. Top elbow close in towards the head. And then one more here, breathing in. And breathing out to undo those arms, untangle those legs as you draw them onto the mat in front of you. Maybe just scoot forward slightly. Knees to be bent and feet hip distance apart. Place your hands behind you with your fingertips pointing forwards in the same direction as your toes, a little bit of a lean back of the torso. You're then going to push down into your feet, push down into your hands, lift your bum into reverse tabletop. The gaze stays towards the knees. The tailbone is tucked and the chin to the chest, but think of pushing your chest up between the heads of your shoulders. Keep breathing. Staying strong. And then one more, inhale. As you exhale, bring your bum back down to the mat. Arms can reach forwards as you slowly unravel your way down onto your spine, shoulders and head to find the mat. Curl the knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then let the knees fall off to the right hand side. Let your left arm reach out in the opposite direction, feeling that left shoulder be nice and heavy, sinking down towards the floor. Your right hand can either release and relax, or perhaps it wants to weigh the legs down. A nice openness across the front of the left chest. Deep breath in, down into the belly. And then exhale, rolling the legs back via center, all the way over to the left. The right arm then reaches out, palm faces the sky, feeling a nice openness into the right chest, front to the right shoulder. Final breath in. And then as you breathe out, draw those legs back to center, one leg at a time to step out away from you. Maybe leaving those arms nice and broad, taking up a lot of space in this nice soft, open, final shape. Let your eyes close, let the face soften and relax. Just watching the breath Move in and out through the nose, starting to allow it to return to a more natural pace, natural depth. And then 
Take a nice deep breath in, reawakening the body. Maybe taking a nice big stretch above the head as you point through the toes. The knees can then hug in towards the body as you give them a little squeeze. And then softly, gently, find your way back to seated. Chest sitting on top of hips. Your final breath in to send those arms back to the sky as you gaze up. And your final breath out to draw the hands towards the belly and the chin down towards the chest. Well done everyone and thank you so much for joining me for four days in a row now. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning at 7am, weekdays we are a little earlier, um, so I hope I could see you tomorrow. Do um, let me know how you found the class, I'd love to hear from you in the comments uh, and I'd really appreciate the support if you could subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, I'd love to hear from you so have a lovely day, a lovely rest of your weekend and I hope that you can join me again live for day five tomorrow morning.